Hi there, my name is Jamie Clark. I'm here at the LiveOutThere.com tech shop, preparing to do a tech talk with Tyler Kosak and gear expert Ali, our resident pooch. Tyler, it's springtime. People are heading out into the mountains doing a little backpacking. Time to get a new tent. What should we be thinking about? Uh, first question you want to ask yourself for sure is, what am I going to use it for? So whether you want a three-season, four-season, or an ultralight tent. And if, uh, let's say, you know, I don't need a four-season tent because I'm not going to be in full-on winter conditions like I've seen in the Himalaya. Uh, I'm not worried about big, big winds and lots of snow. Uh, but I might be encountering a little rain and light snow. Is that sort of where the three-season tent, three season tent comes in? Absolutely. So three-season tents are definitely going to be uh, built for spring, summer, fall. So they're meant to handle pretty much any of the conditions. And let me be clear that these are the conditions that you'll see in the mountains. So definitely going to be uh, you know sturdy enough for any of those uses. And you know, you don't have to go above the tree line to get high winds and a bit of snow and a bit of rain. So I I agree. I I uh, like to think of a, a season tent as my uh, go-to tent for high backpacking. Now what about size? There's a whole weight size uh, concern. What should people be thinking about when they're thinking about how big of a tent do I need to get? Absolutely. So you know obviously you want to be comfortable in your tent. So are you going to pick a tent that's going to be uh, just big enough for the two of you, uh, or three of you, or what have you? Uh, or you want to pick a tent that's going to give you some elbow space, give you some room for some gear inside, uh, as well as, you know, you got to think about, do I want two doors? Do I want two vestibules? Well, I generally speaking, I'm one of the ones that likes a little extra space. So if I'm going out with two people, I like to have a three-person people tent. If I'm going out with three, I like to have four, and on and on and go, because that sort of one and a half to two pounds extra weight spread across the group, I think it's worth having the extra space and comfort, especially if you get stuck in a you know rain and you're cooking inside your vestibule. What other things should people be thinking about in terms of the construction of these tents? Well, construction is important. Uh, construction generally means, well, is my tent going to handle the, the rigors of what I'm going to put it through? So, yeah, you're going to be looking at uh, the construction of the poles. All of these tents are using aluminum poles with shock cords, so they're going to stand up and are be easy to set up. And all the fabrics that these tents are, are, are using, uh, uh, high-tech fabrics that are going to stand up to, again, three-season conditions that pretty much anything. You, you taught me, and I've made this mistake in the past, about buying a tent and not making that additional investment in a ground sheet or a footprint. Uh, I, I've learned my lesson because I have left them behind from time to time. What, what, why is that so important? Well, it's a big mistake out there. Uh, a lot of people buy, uh, you know, spend a lot of money on a good quality tent. Uh, they're relying on the, uh, the base of that tent to be the most waterproof port, part. And certainly it is, but uh, no tent is going to keep the water out if it's poked full of holes. So when you're setting that tent up on the gravel, rocks, pine needles, uh, you got to have something underneath it to protect that waterproof uh, base. So get a footprint, they're cut to the shape of the tent. Uh, and they won't add much weight or bulk to your to your actual tent size. So, and and you've said something interesting to me before that any of these tents that are good for backpacking are also great for car camping because you may have a big wind, a big storm when you're out car camping, and you don't have to uh, retreat to your convertible. Well, exactly, and certainly you know you want your tent to last. So just because you're going out to uh, you know a drive-in car camping site doesn't mean that you need to. Uh, skimp on everything and take something that's going to fall apart in a season so these tents you know again were made for mountain conditions so they're going to be able to handle anything that car camping will be able to throw at it uh, you'll have a reliable tent for years so in review and i'm looking for a new tent i got to think about the use three four season ultra ultra light uh, i'm thinking about uh, space uh, versus weight maybe yep. space isn't important weight is more important or maybe i can afford a little bit more space we're also thinking about the construction of the tents and as well uh, grab yourself a footprint that'll uh, conserve uh, your tent and and preserve your investment so that's our advice anything else to add tyler go get one go get one on behalf of tyler Allie and myself here at liveoutthere.com, grab yourself a tent.